Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay guys, now here you are going to have your comprehensive exam or comprehension exam. And then, uh, how did we are going to do it? It will be the same like the previous uh, comprehensive exam that we had. Yeah, I'll give you several kind of question. Yeah, and then the first session will be about your. Uh, comprehension for all the learning material that you guys already learned okay start from the first semester till the last semester yeah and then the second session it will be for Islam and Kemuhammadiyah I will ask you guys what kind of concept what kind of theory what kind of uh, perspective about Muhammadiyah that you guys already uh, understand okay but before we are going to start the comprehensive exam or comprehension exam uh, let's together recite al-fatihah first hopefully this uh, comprehensive exam will go as you guys uh, prepare it and then let's read al-fatihah Okay, and then uh, today our participant here it should be five students, yeah, and one of the students here missed this comprehensive exam because of uh, I heard that she will going to get married soon, yeah, and then hopefully she can join us for the next schedule of comprehensive exam, okay. And the participant for today here will have uh, Nurdiati Asia, and then Afif, and then Arosi Dayana. Last one is Samara Fairusuni. Okay. Okay, guys. Now let me ask you first. You guys ready to join this comprehensive exam or comprehension exam? Hmm? Ready, sir. Ready. Okay, ready. Uh, it's only Afif that ready to join this comprehensive exam. Really? Come on. What about the, the rest of you? Ready, sir. Ready, sir. Okay. Uh, and then I would like to ask you guys an apology because I'm recording this comprehensive exam using the smartphone, not like the previous one that we used the laptop or uh, our netbook and then now here i can see only three participants in one screen so really sorry for nurdiati asia if, if i have to see your face I'm, i have to scroll it first yeah but as i told you earlier if you guys will talk and then your face will appear full screen in my smartphone okay uh and then before we are going to go to the first question now since this one is a recording one and then now i'll give you guys one of our opening like the previous one yeah uh, if this video help you guys to prepare your comprehensive exam please kindly like and then please kindly subscribe give a comment to this video yeah okay. so you guys can help us build this channel okay uh that's all and now let's go to the first question the first question yeah the first question uh will be what is a professional teachers like yeah. what is a professional teacher like come on okay I who's gonna go first may may I I try? Try? okay is it clear may enough clear. Please, sir. 
Is it clear enough, Samara? Lebih hati Asia? Iya, yeah, Hah? Please, sir. Sorry, sorry. Please repeat. Oh, okay, I'm gonna... Okay, I'm gonna repeat it. Ya. Yeah. Uh, one of the best aim to be a student in a faculty of education is to be a professional teacher. Ya. Yeah. And then my question, what is a professional teacher like? Who's gonna go first? Come on. Oke, okay. may I okay. try, sir? Oke, okay, Afif, come on. The professional title is mean to be the professional one. What I'm talking here is the professional one has to be understand the situation, analyzing the problem and solving it. Also, when we are talking about the professional teacher, it means the teacher has to understand the student or classroom situation and solve the problem that may appear in the classroom or student. And that concludes my understanding of professional teacher. Okay, thank you very much, Afi, for your answer. And then now let's go to the next. Okay, Mister, come on. Yeah. Come on. I think uh, in professional teacher, if uh, the teacher can understand not only the material what he explained, but can understand the behavior student and the and and can make uh, can make the the student more interested uh, from the material that the teacher can explain. Enough, sir. Okay, thank you. Next one, please. Yes, sir. Come on. Uh, can you make it louder, please, Samara? Because it seems like you were not giving us a good and strong voice. Come on. Okay. In my opinion, it... come on. Uh, in my opinion, professional teacher is uh, know what happening now uh, and combinate uh, combinate uh, for the lesson uh, for the lesson. Use that what happening in now 4.0 era to uh, to lesson. That's all. And then, okay. Thank you. Next, come on. Uh, I think a professional teacher understand to the to the make a uh, deep uh, interesting the uh, the material. And then. Make a uh, nurse the student the material. What else? It's enough. Okay. Thank you. So that was a professional teacher according to your guys' understanding or comprehension. And then now let's go to the second question. Uh, if you are going to be a professional teacher, yeah, uh, one characteristic that should be uh, followed as a professional teacher. Yeah. Professional teacher never stop updating their knowledge or their skill in teaching. And my question, Uh, if you guys think you are going to be a professional teacher one day after you guys graduate from this uh, English department, from this faculty, uh, what kind of updating process, what kind of updating knowledge that you are going to do 
to be one of the professional teacher. Come on. Come on. Okay, sir, may I try? Okay, Afib. The first after graduating in University Muhammadiyah of Jakarta, first we need to update the improvement of technology skill. We need to learn how to use the online system and long rank learning for the more effective way. So even if we are we don't have any classroom or we don't have time, we are still capable of holding the learning process in everywhere. So I think we I think what the important thing we need to do is to improve our technology skill and how to manage the technology that we can use in the learning process. That's all. Okay. Thank you very much, Afif. Next one, please. Sir, so give us the clue. Okay. Samara Fairusuni, as I told you earlier, uh, if you guys want to be a professional teacher, you have to update yourself. Okay, you have to add your knowledge, your skills of teaching. From the answer, from the answer from Afip here, Afip told us that he will try to improve his ICT or technology skill to be a professional teacher. And then, what about the rest of you guys? What is it that you are going to update for yourself so you can be a professional teacher? Come on. Um, Lisa, I want to update my uh, media to teach because media is uh, important for support the treatment in learning. Uh, mm -hmm. Example, uh, maybe I use uh, many application. That's all. Okay. Thank you. Next, please. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Ochi? Uh, I think uh, I will upgrade myself with the method, sir. Method. Uh, method. I will I will give the student a uh, fine method, uh, not not a monotone method. Uh, because the student can more interest uh, like a video meet method with with using video uh, uh, because uh, the student uh, usually boring with only read, read book and and maybe uh, with using video can make can make the student more interest from okay yeah, from learning, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. learning. Thank you, Ochi. And then next one, please. The last one will be Nurdiati Asia. Uh, I don't know, sir, because uh, but you know. What is it? Uh, Asia? Okay. If you want I, to be a... The... Okay, I'm going to repeat it for you, Asia. If you want to be a professional teacher, three of your friends already explained. Yeah? If Afib is using a technology on it, and then if uh, Samara is going to improve his media, her media, and then uh, Oti here using various kind of method. What about you, Nur Asia? I upgrade to the Media, media, uh, using games. Okay, so you are going to play games. You are going to use games. Yeah. Is that it? Hmm? No more? Uh, um. Okay. Thank you. Now let's go to the next question. The art or the art of being a professional teacher here is the ability. The first, the plan, implementing, and then evaluating the teaching process. Yeah. 
And then now I want you guys here try to give me the example of planning, implementing, and then evaluating the teaching process. Come on. Come on. Anyone? Okay, sir. What about me first? Okay, come on, Afib. It's your turn. Okay, first, the planning. What you do in this step is the finding the topic. When you want to learn or teach something in the classroom, it's important to find the topic. Just what kind of item you want to show them? What kind of uh, lesson you want to teach them? This is the important thing because you need a topic or theme for your curriculum or lesson planning. And now the second is implement. As you have making the plan, you are ready to put it on your classroom. You need to, even so, during the implementation, you still need to watch for the unforeseen problem and you have to be careful if the things don't go as plan as planning. So in this implementation is the crucial step because you need to be careful. And the third is evaluating. As you have the final stack or the or composing the final result of your implementation in from the second step, you need to evaluate if the result is satisfying or not. So and in this step it will be the yeah. <laughs> it, it will be the conclusion if the your implementation is successful. That's all. Okay. Thank you. Next, come on. Who's gonna go next? Sorry, sir. Give us the clue. Okay. When you're going to be a teacher, you have to do a planning before implementing. Yeah. And then after implementing, you do the evaluating. Yeah. For example, here you want to teach your student about animal. Yeah. For the planning, uh, for the planning stage here, you are going to write down how that you are going to teach your student the animal. Yeah. For example, you're planning here. You are going to teach your student the animal using. Uh, watching a short video about animal, yeah, that's your plan. Okay, your yeah. plan here it is about teaching students about animal using a short video, and then after that one, you go to implementing. The implementing process is you are teaching, you teach the student about animal with the video. Okay, you share, you give the student a video, and then they learn about animal using video. And then last one, evaluating, the process of evaluating here, you can see if the use of video here, it is effective or no to improve your student mastery, your student understanding about animal. That will be the evaluating stage. Is it clear now? Clear. Okay, come on. Okay, uh, uh, I want uh, planning in my teaching. Uh, I want to teach um, how uh, narrative text, the narrative text, and mm -hmm. using MindGate application. But uh, they must uh, make a creative story to an NGEC application. Um, in my in implementing is uh, give them uh, the picture from my NGEC application and uh, ask the students to create uh, the story, the creative story. And after that, uh, for evaluating, uh, I will. I want the students to uh, tell 
in front of the class what the story they make. That's all. Okay, thank you. Next. Yes, sir. Come yes, on, Archie. Come on, Archie. Uh, um, my planning is uh, conversation. Mm -hmm. And? Hello, Archie. Can you hear us? It seems yeah. like it is a poor connection. Can you repeat it, please? Hello. Okay, come on. Yeah. yeah. My plan is the student can make the conversation, sir. Okay. Yeah. And and implement implementing is I will give the student uh, some record or some video uh, like a conversation and and the student uh watch uh, or listen the record or watch the video and the, the evaluation is the, the student can make conversation like the example video yeah i will give them <laughs> you will give them yeah okay and then enough sir okay thank you last one nurdiati asia come on Nurdiati Asia, come on. Nurdiati Asia, I'm calling. Come on. Nurdiati Asia, can you hear me? Hear me, yes, sir. <laughs> Come on, try to answer the question sure. then, please. Yeah. Try to answer the question, please, Nurdiati Asia. Bad signal, sir. Bad. Okay, come on, just talk. Just talk then. Any kind of Me. explanation. Okay, come on. Uh, I want to plan the teacher uh... Nur Diati Asia, there you go again. I can barely hear your voice. Hello. Okay, thank you. Let's go to the next question then. Yeah, because it seems like Nordiati Asia is not with us. She can't join, I guess, because of her poor connection. Yeah. And then now let's go to the next question. The next question. Uh, hello. Yes, sir. Okay, come on, Nordiati. Come on. Uh I want to learn the teacher okay. or speaking. Okay. Uh, and I, I make a games board. Okay, making games board and then uh information the the student the student in front of the class and uh, speak up. Mm -hmm. And then? Uh, yeah. Before, uh, the student play the dartboard and the... Uh, Pick up in the classroom. And? Speak up in the classroom. 
Anything else, Nurdia Tiasia? Enough, sir. Okay, thank you. Next question. Uh, you guys already learn about learning evaluation. Okay, hopefully you guys still remember about learning evaluation because I'm the one that who taught you guys learning evaluation. Yeah, so hopefully after this one, you can give me yeah a clear explanation about learning evaluation. What does it mean by uh, learning evaluation and then how that we can evaluate the learning? Come on. Me, sir. Okay, come on. Uh, but I then, sir. Okay, let's wait for Azan first then. Noor, when we try to wait for Azan, maybe you can try to find a better reception for your connection. Noor, come on. Yes, sir. Okay, waiting. Pegel sila mulu kok. <laughs> And it's still Azan here. Wait a second. Oh. 
Okay. Can we continue this meeting, guys? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. okay come on. Who's going to uh, go next, please? Okay. Uh, Samara? Uh, learning evaluation is how the teacher measuring the understanding of the student. Um, because I focus in speaking skill. Uh, um, according to J.B. Heaton, he said uh, that uh, five techniques to measuring speaking. The first one is reading aloud. And the second is uh, conversation, 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 conversational exchange, prologue, uh, a monologue technique, free conversation, and uh, interview technique. That's all. Okay, come on, Archie. Learning evaluation, uh, I think, is concerned con concern with assessing with assessing the effective the effective the effect of teaching, and it provides it provides the uh, it provides the teaching teaching. Um, okay. Teaching and the learning about the process in learning. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, thank you. Next, please. Hey, I. Okay, come on, Afif. Okay, now in learning evaluation, other than assessing the result, there is the another important thing that has to do in the according of evaluation. This is to analyzing and improving the result of learning. By using the learning evaluation, we need to analyze the result that we have done in the classroom and the student in the impact of student. As we analyze the result and the impact in the learning process, we use learning evaluation to analyze the successfulness and and improving the result that might come later after we conduct another learning lesson our learning process that's all okay thank you last one nurdiati asia hopefully uh, now you will have a better connection with you come on all about learning okay learning evaluation is process of determining of a uh, level learning goals in a systematic way. And then? Enough, sir. Okay. Thank you very much for the answer, guys. And then since my battery here is already 10%, uh, so after this one, uh, I'm gonna go inside. Yeah, I'm gonna go inside and I try to uh, chart my smartphone. But before that one, yeah, before, before that one, I'm gonna give you guys a question. Please keep on answering. Yeah, my question here: How that you are going to be a fun teacher, a teacher that really loves uh, the student? And then that can make the student happy to learn with you guys. Is it clear enough? Clear. Okay, come on. Who's gonna go first? Uh, I'm gonna hold this one. Okay, come on. Come on. Um, the first one, uh, I try to understand what happening, uh, what happening student makes uh, interesting to study and the second uh, maybe I use media or technology uh, battery. To battery. 
Esther. Can you hear okay, me? Okay, and then what else? Yeah. And the last, I give them achievement because they uh, they attention to uh, they want to study and they attention. That's all. <laughs> and then what else? That's all. That's all. Okay, thank you, Dan. And then now, next, please. Okay, may I? Okay. Afif, now, please. First, other than what Tamara has said, there is a uh, several important things. As uh, mm -hmm. making the comfortable atmosphere. As we are starting the lesson in the classroom, we need to make the comfortable atmosphere in the classroom to make students easy to understand the lesson. Because when a student is stressful, it's hard to them to understand the material. And the second, we need to, just like Samara said, we need to use the fun learning method. However, there is the other thing. The, the, the main thing is you need to use the relaxing method that makes the student comfortable with the material. So you need to make you need to teach while making them relax in the classroom. And lastly, you need to show them the sympathy and polite manner so they will respect you. That's all. Okay. Thank you very much. Afif, next, come on. Who's gonna go next after Afif, please? Okay, Mister. Okay, come on. Uh, uh, I think uh, before we start the lesson in class, uh, we we must understand the situation in class and give the student pay attention. And before and after that, uh, uh, and after that, uh, can expect uh, can explain the material what we do to learn in class and 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 the student maybe can follow the material in class anything else uh, that's all okay thank you last one nur diati asia sorry sir I what is it i don't hear you because <laughs> <laughs> okay, and now I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna repeat the question then. How are you going to be a fun teacher, Nudiatia? Nudiatia Asia. Come on. Uh, make a student interesting stuff uh, like us in <laughs> and 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 uh, house the game is boring okay and then and then what else? Okay. Thank you very Hi, much, Nurdiati Asia. Okay, next question. Next question now. Uh, talking about language, especially English language, you guys already learned about linguistics about psycholinguistic, about sociolinguistics, about neurolinguistics. Okay. And then now I want you to please choose which one that you are going to explain. The option are linguistics, second one, psycholinguistics, the third one, sociolinguistic. Last one, neurolinguistics. Come on. Yes, sir. I would like to try first. 
Okay, come on, Afif. I would like to choose the sociolinguistic. I choose okay, the sociolinguistic because it's closer to what we learn as the teacher. In sociolinguistic, okay. we need to learn the how the language language is being used in the society. So it's important for us to learn this item because this material is done because we need to learn how to cope with the situation how to adapt and teach the language in society. In social linguistics, what depends on us is our social skill and how we understand the social situation in the in the expanded expanded space, just like in the family or in the village like that, such as village, and we need to understand the culture to in the some place, so we understand the language. The language. So, what the most important in social linguistic is we need to learn and teach the language in society. That's all. Okay. Thank you. Next, after Afif, please. Who's gonna go next? Me, sir. Okay. Come on. Uh, linguistic, linguistics. Okay. Come on. What is it? Linguistics. I think linguistic is uh, the. Uh, the, the the teaching of sounds and can understand the meaning what sounds and and, and the meaning yeah. can understand the meaning what sounds yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and Yeah. yeah the, the the learning about sounds and and can understand the meaning the mean what the meaning what sounds okay thank you Ochi next please please sir okay Samara come on uh, psycholinguistic is uh, how the people use language mm -hmm. and how uh, they uh, uh, the people get the language and okay <laughs> thank you next last one Nur dia di Asia. You have no other option, but you have to explain about neural linguistic. What does it mean by neural linguistic? I don't know, sir. Uh, I okay. Don't Just guess it. Just guess it. No, you have no other option. You have only neural linguistic. Come on. I don't understand, sir. Okay. Thank you very much, Nur dia di Asia. And then next question. Uh, it's still refer to the first one. If you guys already explained about what does it mean by social linguistics, what does it mean by linguistic, and then what does it mean by psycholinguistics? And then now what you have to do, you have to give me the example of a study or research about sociolinguistics, about linguistics, and then about psycholinguistics, and last one about neurolinguistics. Come on. Come on. Okay, Samara. Psycholinguistics, uh, can you make it louder, louder please, Samara? Uh, when the children get the language by their parents or mm -hmm. uh, the students get that uh, language by the teacher. That's all. Okay, thank you. Next, next, please. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, come on, Afif. Now the research about all social linguistics. The example of the research is 
is the introducing and analyzing the usage of English language in traditional village in Banten. This is the okay. example as this is the example as well we are talking about social linguistic we need to learn how the society or maybe the society in the traditional flex breaks and how to use the foreign language in their own hometown and as this research progress we can know the result of research and improving for the education roles how to teach them and not the foreign language that is necessary that's all okay thank you afib next Okay. okay, Mister, I try yeah. to answer. <laughs> okay, come on. Uh, linguistic. Uh, I think uh, uh, linguistic is uh, they learn about the meaning about they learn about meaning of language and such as for the example is phonetic, sir, like a pirato and. <laughs> okay, that's all. That's all, sir. Thank you. Next one, let's go to uh, Nurdiati Asia. Nurdiati Asia, the example of neural linguistics. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> the question is so. Skip, sir. Okay, thank you, Nurdiati Asia. Now, one last question for the educational concept. Yeah, one last question for the educational concept. Uh, that one, we are going to go to the next session about Al Islam and Kemuhammadiyah. Okay. Last question for educational concept. I'm gonna give you a case study. Yeah, please kindly pay attention closely, guys. Yeah, a case study. Yeah. Uh, a teacher, a teacher here teach various kind of students. Yeah. And then 20, 25% of the student, yeah, 25% of the student can understand about the learning material that explained by the teacher yeah and then 50 percent they're joining the class only to having fun yeah only to play and then only to uh chit chat uh, only to talk with their friend yeah and then the rest 25 percent here there seems like uh uh, they attend the class, but they are not in the class. Okay. Now, the question, if you are the teacher, what you are going to do to face this kind of situation? Come on. Sorry, sir. Can you repeat? I have to repeat it. Yes, sir. That's why I, I told you to please try to pay a close attention. In a class, in a classroom consists of yeah, consists of 25% here. They can understand about the learning material. 50%, yeah, 50% coming to the class only for playing, only for chatting, only for talking with their friends. And then the rest, 25%, they attend the class, but it seems like they are not in the class. Okay. How are you going to face this kind of situation? If you were the teacher in this classroom, come on. Come on. There. Who's gonna go first? Okay, okay. I first in the situation, what we need to handle is 25% who can learn the material and 50% who is having fun. 
First, we need to divide the each class in each group. Just like you explained, the group first, 25, who can understand the material, the 50, who just having fun for in the classroom, and the 20, who is not interested in the material. We divide it in the small group and we solve them the problem by one by. First, we need to take the 25 of who can understand the material. Just because the student can't understand the lesson or material, it doesn't mean they don't want to learn. So first, for the 25 who can understand the lesson, we need to use the simple yet the crucial method to teach them the material. I'm just say what I'm saying is we need to use the easy method who is easy to understand for 25 who can understand the lesson. And now what about the 50% of who just is having fun in the classroom? First, we need to make them interested in the lesson. We need to show we can have fun while learning the lesson. We can use any method just like games or any fun material that will make them understand and follow the lesson. So the easy way to handle the 50% is we need to show them that learning is also fun. And then what about the 25% who is not interested in the lesson or are not in the classroom? It is a special case and the problem is we need to make them interested in the in the lesson. Now we need to give them the good example of our lesson and what the benefit of our lesson. We also with the combination of from 50 and 20 the rest it for this one we need to use the fun learning method and giving the comfortable atmosphere for them. So this is my conclusion for this question. That's all. Thank you, Afib. Would you please mute your speaker first, Afib? It seems like uh, some kind of trouble. Mute your uh, speaker, please, Afib. Uh, wait up. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you. Next, please. Okay, sir. <laughs> okay, come on, Samara. Well, it seems Afib, it seems like that wasn't your speaker that got the trouble here. Can you try okay, to sir. mute your yeah? Can you try to mute your speaker, Aki? Yes, sir. Okay, mute your speaker, please. Mute. Okay. Nurdia Tiasia, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Uh, okay, would you please try to mute your speaker, please? Nurdiati? Yes, Nurdiati, come on, try to mute your speaker, please. Okay, thank you. It is still the noise. Okay, that's okay. Come on, come on, Samara. Okay. Uh, in this case, uh, if uh, the is make it louder, Samara, please. I can barely hear you. Okay. In this case, if I then I'm dead. Of course, I make a group in the class measuring. Wait a second, Samara. What is it that you're wearing over there? It seems like the sound of what is it? Yeah, can you hear that also, Afif? Yeah, yes, it seems I like hear. the trouble, it's really noisy. Yeah, uh, uh, sir, what about I turn off the fan? Yeah, maybe turn off the fan, please. Maybe okay, that's please. the problem, I guess. Okay. Uh, how is sir still having problem? No, it is still the same. What about Samara? Turn up your fan, please. Okay, sir. Okay, come on. Okay, it's clear. Okay. No, it's uh, okay, Samara.
Oke, okay. seems like it Samara. Samara? I have no idea what sound is this. It's a noisy. Oh, yes. Okay, come on. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm... no more. This is a better one. Come on. So it's uh, from Samara I... then. Okay. I make a group. I make a group. Uh, mm -hmm. And I ask the student to uh, make a story, but uh, they the story is a uh, uh, relate for their uh, student before. Mm -hmm. Like in a uh, group, uh, in group uh, example for uh, in group uh, are five students. The first, uh, the first student uh, get, uh, eh, make a story and the second student must make a story uh, what uh, relates for the first student until the end of the student. Uh, that's all. And? Okay. Thank you. Next. Okay, Mister. Come on. Uh, the first, uh, I will give pay attention to students uh, who are playing and not taking lesson and to calm down and silent. And after that, uh, if they are calm and silent, uh, I will continue the material. And, and, and I will give the student who play and not taking lesson uh, the question about the material. And if, and if the student can, cannot answer, and uh, uh, I, I, I will give the student uh, to search uh, the answer with my question. Okay. That's all. That's all. Okay, thank you. Last one, Nurdia Tiasia, come on. Uh, I'm to make two groups, uh, and um, uh, play the dartboard in the uh, board, whiteboard in the class, and the uh. uh Uh, the group one, uh, uh, describe describing a uh, uh, misal deh. Uh, describe misal, uh, describing ways the student describing plan the uh the student. Describe. Enough, sir. Okay, thank you very much, guys. No more? No more? Okay, no. so no more question for educational concept. And then, now let's go to the second session. Yeah, and then... Uh, this second session here, it will be also the same like the first session, yeah? I'll give you guys one question and then you are going to answer it in different kind of way, okay? Yes, sir. My first question, uh, what are, here yeah, I'm using what are. So each of you, you have to mention at least two. Yeah, what are the typical characteristic of Muhammadiyah? Uh, 
Do you want me to repeat it? Yes, sir. Suaranya hilang. Maaf, sorry. Okay. What are two characteristic or typical characteristic of Muhammadiyah? Come on. Okay. May I try okay. first? Okay, come on, Afif. The first typical the first typical sign of Muhammadiyah is we use uh, we use Al Quran as our guidance for the life. As Muhammadiyah, we put our life in the Quran as the guidance, and we follow each time we want to live in this world. So, the first typical is we are using Al Quran as our guidance, and the second is about. We are trying to purify the Islamic values. We are the Muhammadiyah and we are not trying to mix the Al-Quran or Hadith with the other issues just like culture or the habitual action. So there are uh, two signs of Muhammadiyah. We use Al-Quran as our guidance and second, we never mix Quran with the other materials as culture as all. Thank you. Next. Sir. Okay, come on. The first uh, characteristic of Muhammadiyah is uh, they use Amar Ma'ruf Mahimukar. And the second one is uh, you. You all of the uh, all of the all of their uh, the Part like education and uh, education and and, and what else? Organization and organization. Anything else? No. Okay. Next, please. Oke, okay, Oke, okay, come on. Karakteristik of Muhammadiyah uh, is uh, Islamic Islamic movement. So, Islam must be the foundation of value uh, value and ideal of the movement. And what else? And That's all. Oke, okay, thank you. Last one. Uh, Nurdia Tiasia. Come on. Uh, Karakteristik of Muhadia, uh, Islamic movement, Amar Ma'ruf na, Nahi Munkar, and Tajdid movement. What else? Enough, sir. Okay, thank you. And then now, uh, let's go to the main basic concept in Muhammadiyah. Uh, Afif already mentioned it earlier. It is about purifying. Yeah. What does it mean by purifying here? The purifying. Of, come on, the purifying of anything related to our religion, Islam. What is it? Purifying. Come on. Okay, sir. Okay, come on, Afif. Okay. What What it means as the purifying is, we sold the mix or Islamic values such as Quran, Hadith, and Sunnah with the other material that's causes the shirik or non tauhid material in our soul such as culture or the behavior long time ago as muhammad dalan trying to build the or establish the muhammadiyah he was he was having sympathy because the islam in indonesia is corrupted by negative culture and the shirik and the Just bad behavior action. So, what it means to purify is 
is to put the Muslim and the proper path as we use Quran and Hadith as our guidance in our life. That's all. Okay, next please. Come on, who's gonna go next after Afif? Come on. Give us the closer. Okay. Afif already mentioned. What does it mean by purify here? When we try to do our religion, we have to go back to our original source. Our original source here consists of Al-Quran, Hadith, and Sunnah, right? Yeah? And majority of our people in Indonesia, they still believe in something that irrelevant. Yeah? It is affected by Hindus, culture, Buddhists, and then many previous religion that exist in Indonesia. For example, here the tradition, yeah, the traditional kind of things that happen in every province in Indonesia related to the tradition referred to Buddhist or Hindu. Yeah. That's why Muhammadiyah tried to make a purifying process here. That go back to our original source in Islam. Do you understand? No, sir. No. Okay, come on. Just purify. What does it mean by purify? Samara. Yes, sir. Okay, come on. What does it mean? Um, maybe it what is uh revealed to us mm -hmm. uh, is or the prophet is the truth from Allah. Okay. So uh don't uh don't include just who does it. Okay, and then. Uh, even that is a message, a message uh, addressed to the prophet, uh, prophet Allah uh, uh, mm -hmm. He also addressed this this to Muslim. Anything else? No? Okay, next please, Nurdiati or Ochi. Ochi, come on. Okay. Uh, Ochi, you have no idea? No idea, sir. <laughs> okay, thank you. Let's go to the next question then. Uh, when learning about Al Islam and Ke Muhammadiyah, you guys already learn about basic principle in Muhammadiyah. Yeah? Basic principle in Muhammadiyah. I want you guys to please try to mention one only and then give the explanation on it. Okay? There are several basic principle believed in Muhammadiyah, yeah? And then I want you guys to try to choose one only and give the explanation of the basic principle in Muhammadiyah. Come on. Come on. Okay, sir. May I okay, come on. Okay, Afif. The most basic math lesson, what we need to learn in Muhammadiyah is the Tawdila. Tauhid. It means just like I said before, we need to use Allah and Quran, Sunnah and Hadith as our guidance in our life. Allah is the our guidance because He is our protector and our creator. That's why in Muhammadiyah, 
the most important thing is Saudi lah. Just like in as explained in surat al ikhlas and al nas. Kul huwa wahad, Allah somat, kamil walam yulat, walam yakulahu kufan ahad. And anas, kul au subirabinas, malikinas, ilahinas, min syaril waswasil konas, Allah si waswiswis sedurinas. This is the most essential item or lesson that we need to learn as Our purpose of life is our law, as our guardians. That's all. Thank you. Next, please. Sure. Okay. Uh, one of the principle is Amar Ma'ruf Nahi Munkar. Okay. Example is we must uh, live what the what the what uh, Allah uh, uh, don't like and uh, the example is the example is mustrik and then uh, siri and extra okay so, and then We 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 must uh, like uh, Afif said before. We must tauhid. Tauhid is a uh, reading a Quran, uh, pray, and, and that's all. Okay. Thank you. Next, please. Next, Oci or Nurdia Tiasia. Come on. Uh, I will try, sir. Uh, okay, come on. Um, uh, maybe uh, uh, like uh, Ahmad Dalan refused the offer signs he wished that Muhammadiyah remained to be a dakwah movement. Uh, and a community based Islamic movement. That's all? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Nur Diyati Asia, come on. Come on. Try to give us the answer, Nur Diyati Asia. Sir. No Everyone. idea. Okay, thank you. Let's go to the next question. Next question here, I'll give you guys an option. You're going to choose Al Islam and Ke Muhammadiyah one, or Al Islam and Ke Muhammadiyah two, or the second. Yeah, it's up to you guys. Any of uh, Aika one or Aika two that you're going to choose, yeah. Now I want you guys to please try to remember one topic, yeah, one topic from Aika one and that, or one topic from Aika two, and please try to explain it. Come on, come on, Mister. Okay, come on. Samara? Uh, we study about the Kona'ah. Kona'ah is... Okay. Uh, It is in Aika 1, Aika 2. 1. Okay, come on. You study about Kona'ah and then? Okay. Kona'ah is uh, uh, how we as a human to attention for the other human. Or... Uh, when we uh, when we uh, if we are a Muslim, we uh, we we uh, attention to the other Muslim. Uh, 
the example is uh, we Slatu uh, Rahmi in their in their house or bring uh, food if they uh, don't uh, uh, cooking uh, that is an example for Kona'a because uh, we care about uh, other Muslims. Anything else? Okay, thank you. Next, come on, after Samara. Who's gonna go next? Okay, which one? Afib or Ochi? Okay, Ochi, come on. Ochi. Uh, in Aika 3, uh, mm -hmm. we learn about uh, the quote of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We only learn about that, sir. Okay, so what kind of hadith, sunnah that you still remember? Mention it and then try to explain it, please. Forget. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> Next, Afif. Okay, I would like to choose the Aika 2. Okay, Aika 2. In Aikatu, I learned about the uh, akhlak to Allah SWT. In okay. this section, I learned about cinta and rido. In one verse, just like Surat at taubah Allah warned how we must not surpass the love for our Allah to love to other things. Because if we love other things more than love the Allah, we will be putting in the punishment by Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, and we also need to learn how to behave properly to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. And also in this section, we learn about several positive aspects, just like taqwa, kauf and raja, musahaba, istiqomah, and anything else. That's all. Thank you very much, Afif. Next, last one, please, Nurbiati Asia. Come on. Nurdiati Asia, where are you, please? Detik now, sir. Nurdiat. Huh? Repeat. Repeat. Okay. Choose one topic from Aika 1 or Aika 2 or even Aika 3 and then try to explain the topic. Come on. What you already learned from Aika 1 For or example, Aika sir? 2? The example already mentioned by you. three of your friends. The example already mentioned by three of your friends. Yeah. From Samara, we have uh, Kona'ah. And then from Afib, we got how to behave to Allah. And then from... Uh, Ochi, we got Hadith, Sunnah, and then from you, what's, still, what's something that you still remember? Come on. Come on. So you don't even remember anything when you learn Aika? Aika first, Aika second, or Aika third? Hmm? And she's leaving. Okay, nice one. Thank you. And then next question. Next question. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> I want you guys here try to explain our basic distinction with other Islamic movement in Indonesia. The basic distinction of Muhammadiyah with other Islamic movement in Indonesia. Come on. Okay, sir. Okay, Afib. Just like as I explained it before, we Muhammadiyah is trying to purify and protect the important value in Islam just as al Quran and Hadith. The reason why we are different from other sections of Islam because our carefulness 
we are being careful on behavior and on doing our action because just a small action can be considered as the sheriff. So in order to avoid it, we try to prevent and protect the Islamic values. So we usually don't follow the common school set as Yasinan or using putting the flower on the graveyard or something that is not explained by Quran or Hadith. That's all. Okay, thank you. Next, please. Samara? Can you give us the clue, sir? Afib already gave you guys the clue, right? Yeah, the distinction. If other Islamic movement, they have a tradition, a ritual action. Yeah, but in Muhammadiyah, we, we are not doing that kind of tradition, yeah, that kind of ritual action, yeah, that's the example. And then we have many other different things also. Come on, different, different, yeah, sir. yeah. okay. If uh, uh, there, there is a Muslim, mm -hmm. uh, is that uh, we sometimes we. Reading Quran or Tahlilan in okay. in every night mm -hmm. until seven day, but but in Muhammadiyah is not uh, is not is not not. Uh, Okay, thank you, Samara. Next, please. <laughs> thank you, Samara. Next, come on, Ochi. Ochi. In Muhammadiyah, salat uh, subuh not using, not required to not the alfunut, but okay. in, but in another movement uh, required to alfunut. Okay, thank you. Last one, Nurdiati Asia, please. What is the difference between Muhammadiyah with the other Islamic movement in Indonesia? Come on, Nuryati. Uh, in Muhammadiyah. Uh, Yes. Okay, th thank you very much, Nur Asia, for your answer. Yeah, and then now, last one. Okay, this will be your last task after, uh, after that, there will be no more question. Yeah, and then now, last assignment for you guys, last task. Uh, Please try to convince me why did you guys deserve to pass this comprehensive exam? Yeah, come on. Hopefully you already prepared this one. If you already watch the previous uh, videos, so I guess you already prepared this one. Come on, convince me that you deserve to pass this comprehensive exam. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> come on, Ochi or Samara? Ochi or Ochi Samara yes, first? Ochi, come on. Because I think I have tried to answer the best I can, and, and maybe I will uh, pass the comprehension. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's all, sir. Okay, thank you. Next, please. Convince me. Okay, Samara. Because I already answered all of your questions. Sir. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Next, please. Okay. May I? Okay, Afib, come on. 
I believe I can pass this test because I have because uh, just like Samara said, I have fulfilled the requirement to answer all question, but there is also other thing because I need this as to make my step closer to my career. And okay. I believe in my community as student. That's all. Okay. Thank you very much. Happy for a confidence kind of statement. Thumbs up. Next, please. Nur di hati Asia. Nur di hati Asia. Okay, it seems like Nur di hati Asia will rejoin the comprehensive exam, my guess. Nur di hati Asia, come on. Yeah. What? Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. So you have a poor connection then. That will be the reason that why that you have to pass this comprehensive exam then. Because you have a poor connection, that's why you have to pass this comprehensive exam. Thank you, Nudia Tiasia. And then now, uh, as we plan it before you uh i want you guys now try to promote our english department yeah don't like to don't don't remember don't forget to give us a good kind of promotion so many of new english department student will join us okay give best kind of promotion i'm gonna give you a full screen while talking while giving us the promotion okay. Uh, who's gonna go first? Who's gonna go first in giving a promotion for us? Okay, Samara. 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 Uh, come on. Samara, three, two, one, go. Come on. Okay, guys. Wait a second. Wait a second. Uh. Okay, come on, Samara. For the YouTube or for the? Yeah, for our YouTube channel. For our YouTube channel, come on. Okay, okay, guys. Come don't on. Forget to like, comment, and subscribe because this channel okay. is interesting for us. Okay. No more. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you very much, Samara. Next, please. Next, please. Okay, guys. <laughs> okay. Don't forget to like and comment in this channel, and don't forget to subscribe the English department. Okay. okay. Thank you, uh, Ochi. Next, come on. Afif, okay, would you I... please? Okay. Hi, nice to meet you. Please don't forget to subscribe and look on our video. I, I bet you're going to enjoy it. Bye. Okay, thank you very much, Afif. Next one, let's try to call Nurdia Tiasia. You still in a poor connection, <laughs> or you want to give us a promotion? Come on. Okay, it seems like she's not responding. Uh, okay, guys, thank you very much for attending this comprehensive exam. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, after answering all of the question, you will get the score as you guys answer the question. Okay, and then hopefully, I really hope that you guys pass this comprehensive exam. So you're not gonna retake any other comprehensive exam. And then after that one, you can continue to your next project. Continue for your tests, continuing for your tuple tests, continuing in publishing your paper in a journal. There are many things that you have to do. Okay, so after passing this comprehensive test, you have to do more uh, projects so you can graduate this year. Yeah, and then one more time. Thank you, Afib. Thank you, uh, Ochi. Thank you, Samara. And then hopefully, she can hear us here. Uh, Nurdia Tiasia, thank you for joining this comprehensive meeting. Yeah, and 
as they told you guys uh, for the one that watch this video um, saying this is the second comprehensive exam for, from English Department Faculty of Education Universitas Muhammadiyah Jakarta hopefully after this one if you guys think this video help you in preparing your comprehensive exam in the near future please kindly click the subscribe button and then don't forget also to like and then comment uh, for this video uh, one more time if you guys do that that will be uh, very helpful for us to build this channel yeah thank you very much and then stay healthy stay safe and be an awesome person give me this one please guys before we end this okay thank you very much and bye bye wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh